Welcome, guys. This is going to be for December, the end of the year, guys. The end of the year. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a look and to see what December has for the Pisces, all right? Now, we're going to look into um, love and career. We're going to look into love and career for Pisces for the month of December. All right, so we're going to pop it off with um, with your career and finances, okay? Career and finances. These messages are general, guys. You guys are making investments, okay? You guys are going to be planting some seeds. Maybe you guys have been planting seeds all through 2019. Get ready to see your harvest, Pisces. I see it most definitely. Look at the bottom of the deck. We have the sun card, okay? So this is reaping your harvest, okay? You know, you planting your seeds and while the sun is beaming, shining bright over your, over your, over your, um, your seeds and is growing, okay? It's growing, okay? There may be some things that, some things or some people that you may have to leave behind, okay? But you're going to get your wish fulfillment, okay? So it looks good, Pisces. Like, that immediately came out for you guys. Looks like you guys are going to be making investments, okay? The lovers, all right? And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. So there's some type of offer possibly in love, but we're going to keep this we're going to keep this on finances right now. You guys may be having new love coming in for 2020. All right, but we'll take a look into that once we um once I pull a few cards for it. And this look, it keeps coming out bottom of the deck seven of pentacles the sun card this is beautiful energy okay so let's see what the cards say i feel like overall you guys is focused career wise and money wise I feel like if you're trying to get a position at work, you you have the willpower to do it. I feel like you're focused. If you're trying to start your own business, I feel like you guys have a great a master plan. You're planting your seeds. You're doing what you need to do to get ahead. Okay, so the first card for love, guys, we have honeymoon. So for some of you guys, you may be deciding to take a trip with your lover if you're partnered up. Okay, if you're single, for some of you guys, you could be at a distance from this person. This could be someone that you really, truly love. Okay, you really, truly love this person, but you know, you possibly feel like you deserve something more or you deserve, you know, it exactly what it is that you deserve. Okay, some of you may be really codependent upon this relationship. Okay, you really, really are addicted to this person. Okay, but for some of you guys, I'm getting that new love is on the way new love is on the horizon okay um you have to get out there pisces for, for my single pisces you have to get out there and go ahead and be a little playful you know spread that energy spread good love okay to recapture romance um you know just a youthful energy but you have to get out there and make the effort for my single pisces it's not just going to fall out the air okay all right so what other messages are there for pisces in love for love for the month of December. We got Pisces. It's time for you to let go of control issues. Okay. Someone here needs to let go of control and let the universe um, do its work. Okay. Work is magic. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. It's something that you have to let go of. There's nothing else that you could do in a situation. You have to let go. Okay, for some of you guys, you're possibly wondering if it's safe for you to let your guard down. Um, you have been possibly having a lot of romantic moments with this person or you're wanting to get up romantically with this person and you're not sure if it's okay for you to let your guard down. You have to let go of control of the situation. Okay, you got to let it happen naturally. Don't try to force anything. Just let it happen naturally. Okay, let it happen naturally. Let's get one more card for Pisces. For the month of December. All 
All right. We got free yourself, okay? Free yourself. It's time to free yourself. Got a lot of letting go and freeing yourself and moving on. I'm picking up for a lot of you guys. You guys need to let something go. Okay, so it's time to take back control of your life. I feel like a lot of you know what you deserve, okay? If somebody isn't giving you what you deserve, it's time to L-I-G. It's time to let it go. Let go of the situation. They always come running back when you do your own thing, when, you know, you've taken control over your life and you're doing what you want to do in life. That's when they always seem to come back. If you're holding on to something and you're not getting what you want, they're not reciprocating the energy that you want, L-I-G it, okay? All right? Some of you guys are going to be making the effort to heal a situation. Some of you guys are putting in a lot of effort to heal a situation, okay? But, you know, if if they're not willing to put in the work as well, then it's time to let it go, okay? All right, let's get a general. They won't resonate with every single Pisces, okay? If they do happen to resonate, guys, leave a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And don't forget to um, share and subscribe, okay? Click the bell for, with the notifications, okay, for notifications. The Lover's card wanted to jump back out again, okay? Here we go again with the Seven of Pentacles. Yes, you guys are, wow. You guys are making investments, okay? Something here is going to pay off for you guys. Give me one more card for Pisces for finances and career. Oh, Pisces, 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 Pisces. Wow. Okay. We got the lover's card here. We got the lover's card here. We also have the seven of pentacles. And we have the ten of cups. Now, I like this energy because <clears throat> I know we're supposed to be sticking to finances and career. But you guys have, like, love and finances. Like, it's like you can have it all here. With this ten of cups, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. Seven of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and the Lovers, Gemini's energy. But I'm just really picking up on, like, an investment being made here. You guys have been planting your seeds possibly all year long or within the last six months, three months, okay, seven months. I want to see why the Seven of Pentacles is here. And look, six of wands, whatever you guys have been investing in, whatever investment it is that you guys are trying to make going ahead, it is going to be so successful. It's going to, it's going to bring you lots of attention. Okay. You're going to be getting recognized. Whatever this is, Pisces, whatever this is, and look, we got you guys' energy, the moon card here at the bottom of the day. Okay. So Whatever investment you guys are making, getting ready to make, I feel like this is going to be something big, okay? It's going to be something big, really, really big. And it's going to bring you this Ten of Cups energy, okay? This Ten of Cups energy is happiness, emotional contentment. This is what everybody wants in their life, okay? You see, this is the happy family, you know, marriage. Commitment. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Pisces? I feel like this is emotional contentment. I feel like you're going to be happy with an investment that you made because it's going to bring you the fruits of your labor. Why is the Ten of Cups here? We got the Devil card, okay? We got the Devil card here. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn. But I'm picking up. I'm picking up on, see, here's the Ten of Cups again, okay? We got the Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. I feel like you have a lot of different options in front of you, okay? 
you may have a lot of different options in front of you could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn male or female but this is the king of pentacles and the Ten of Cups again, okay? So somewhere along the line, someone, maybe there's a decision that you need to make, okay? Maybe there's a decision. Why is the devil in card here? Nine of Pentacles, okay? So look, Nine of Pentacles here, and then look what's at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles, Okay, and then right up on the net is the four of, four of cups. So it's either someone here is missed out on an opportunity with you, or there's an opportunity that you feel like if I have to go ahead and do this alone, I'm going to go get my money. I'm going to go get what I deserve. I know what I deserve. I'm standing in all of my glory. Okay, something here. You guys are focused, okay? You guys are most definitely focused, okay? You're focused on the pentacle. Most definitely, most definitely. Let's see why the lover's card is here. I'm excited for Pisces. Why is the lover's here? Two of swords. There's something here. You got to make up your mind, Pisces, okay? You may be going between two different things, two different people two different places but you got to make a solid you got to make a solid decision okay why is the two of swords here so i'm seeing love and uh finances like with love i feel like you guys have different options different offers why is the two of swords here okay you may be deciding to let someone go or drop something okay it can be kind of heartbreaking that you got to walk away from this situation, Pisces. You might be worried about it and thinking about it, stressing over it. You, you know, it's been constantly on your mind. But there's a leap of faith that you need to take. And this is going to manif This is going to help you leap into to this energy right here, okay? Okay, this is going to help you. This is going to benefit you. You're going to have to leave something or someone behind. Everybody can't go, Pisces. Everybody cannot go. Whatever this is, this person that you may have to leave behind, okay? This person could have an addict, have addictions. This person could be kind of like, you know, um, clinging on to you, um, bringing you negative energy. You have to let it go. You got to L-I-G it, okay? Okay? You're going to have to let it go. It's just bringing you this energy, okay? It's bringing you this. Sleepless nights, up worrying. Is you have to let it go. You have to walk away, okay? You have to walk away from the situation. I feel like overall, when it comes to finances and money, you guys got the master plan. But don't get distracted. <clears throat> don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Uh-uh, Pisces. Now we're going to hop into love. We're going to hop into love. And see what messages we have in love for Pisces. All right, so general message for Pisces. For the month of December. For the month of December. For the month of December. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces. What's coming in for Pisces? For the month of December. What message do you have for Pisces? For the month of December. For the month of December, what message is there for Pisces? All right, I have you guys thinking of some type of plan, okay? I feel like with the Four of Swords and the Two of Wands, you guys are taking time. You guys are meditating. You're ready. You're thinking about your future, okay? You're thinking about what's getting ready to come in. 
okay? Some of you guys possibly are having trouble communicating um, with someone with this page of cups and the five of wands. I feel like some of you guys are possibly having issues communicating with someone. And I feel like you guys do have a few people that you possibly are juggling, okay? We got the king of wands, um, fiery energy, Leo Sagittarius Aries with this two of pentacles. Could be really, really busy, you know. Could be really busy staying, um, staying active, okay? But for some of you guys, you know, you're keeping your options open, all right? So right now, currently, I feel like, well, for December, I feel like you guys are going to be, you're thinking of a master plan is what I'm getting, like, you're meditating, you're thinking about the future. You're trying to get some clarity on a situation or you're trying to find the truth out about a, about a situation. You're possibly, okay, here you go. You showed up in your own read, okay? So we got the, the Ace of Swords, which is about clarity, okay? You feel left out in the cold in a situation, okay? Maybe there's something that's missing. Maybe you're missing someone. Maybe you're just trying to put all the pieces together. And you're trying to clear something up or you're trying to find out how you really feel, okay? I feel like someone is depriving you of emotional um, clarity, okay? This is something that you've been working on. You've been busy working on towards something here in the past with this Three of Pentacles. And then we have you crowning you with the Queen of Cups energy, okay? Seven of Cups, I feel like there's a multitude of... Um, options that are that are coming up ahead of you okay so i want to get some clarity why is the ace of swords here what is pisces trying to get clarity on What is Pisces trying to get clarity on? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Judgment, okay. Um, whether or not you want to give something a second chance, whether or not there's going to be another chance or a final decision, okay. Okay, you want to make a clear decision. You want a clear decision on something. Something about... A opportunity okay um something about seeing if things are going to go in your favor okay you could be looking reviewing something over your past okay why is the judgment card here the knight of wands okay someone is most definitely back and forth okay Someone is most definitely back and forth because we have the Knight of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this could be like an on again, off again relationship or bond or connection you have with someone that's leaving you unfulfilled and disappointed. Okay, you might feel like it isn't getting you anywhere. Okay, it's like when the effort is being, it's like minimal effort being put in. Okay, why is the Five of Pentacles here? Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so the challenge is you guys may be trying to focus on your money, okay? You're trying to manifest um, a new opportunity, another way of making income, uh, another resource, okay? I feel like for some of you guys, you may be trying to get someone to communicate with you. We got the Magician, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Swords. Maybe you're trying to get someone to tell you the truth about something. And we have the Devil card here. Could be a Capricorn. 
But I feel like you are trying to get someone to open up and tell them how you how they feel. Because we got the Ace of Cups here. And we also have the Ace of Cups here as to why it's happening. Okay. The Ace of Cups is a new opportunity in love. So you may feel like you want to do something. You want something new. Why is the Ace of Cups here? I feel like with this Page of Cups, okay, Pisces is energy. I feel like you want to change in communication. Um, like you want this person to possibly change how they communicate towards you. Or I just feel like you just want community. You want loving energy, okay, even if it's from someone new here. Why is the Page of Cups here? Yeah. You want to work on your communication. You want someone to work on their communication. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. I feel like there's a missed opportunity here. Um, and I'm not sure if it's you, take, you not taking the opportunity or they aren't taking the opportunity. But someone is back and forth, in and out. Um... And the challenge is, like, it's a missed opportunity, okay? I feel like you want to work on this situation, but there needs to be open communication for this to work. All right, so past energy, we have three of pentacles. So you've been busy working, okay? You've been working towards something. For some of you guys, you may be starting your own business. Why is the three of pentacles here? This could be a situation at work. Because we have the Three of Pentacles here twice. And then with the Seven of Cups here, there could be other people. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Eight of Swords. So some of you guys may be really stuck, feeling stuck in a situation in the past. Okay. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Some of you may have just been stuck at work. And time is just going by and you're just not realizing that, hey, this situation right here is just like off balance. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Oh, no, you're stuck in your head about this. Nine of Swords. You're stuck in your head about this. Maybe you're stuck in your head. Maybe they're with the Three of Pentacles here worried that there could possibly be like a third party. Or you guys have just been really stressed out um, over work, okay? Mine's the Nine of Swords here, but I'm getting really, really stuck energy, stuck in your head. And the Nine of Wands, okay? Wow. You've been trying to block this out, but it's hard for you to block this out. I keep getting that you're trying to make somebody talk. Possibly about a third party. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? The Magician. Okay. And the Moon card here. You guys, this energy. And the Three of Swords. The Four of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Why is the magician here? And there we go again. The page of pentacles. You guys are trying to get someone to open up. You may have a player here. Somebody that's playing around. Someone that has, you know, a lot of options. But I feel like I'm getting very childlike energy. Knight of Swords in the sun. This is just like a kid running around crazy in the sun. This person is immature, whoever you're dealing with, Pisces. I just feel like you're dealing with someone that's immature. It could be someone at work that you're dealing with. Why is the Page of Wands here? Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Could most definitely be a third party situation. Why is the Seven of Cups here for the future energy for Pisces?
Why is the seven of cups here? King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But this is very loving energy. You may have, you know, um, some good energy coming ahead. You may have, you know, someone who is more communicative, someone who is more um, mature in the communication department, okay? The King of Cups is very, very loving energy, very communicative, very mature when it comes to his emotions, okay? And we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So maybe this is how you want someone to um, approach the situation. Why is the King of Cups here? Two of Cups. Look at you. Okay, so I feel like for a lot of you guys, someone here is has been holding back. Someone here has been holding back, okay? Maybe coming off as really cold and, you know, cutthroat. Someone here has been being very negative, okay? Very negative, okay? But I feel like someone here may be putting in the effort or this for, for some of you guys, this is someone new. This is a new relationship, okay? Why is the Two of Cups here? The star card, okay? Look, there's healing. There's healing here. There's hope here, okay? There's like a wish fulfillment here, okay? I see you talking to, communicating with someone, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer energy, but you're communicating how this has picked up, how something has picked up, okay? So something picks up. Whether it be with another option, okay? But things pick up for you, okay? Um, whatever this past thing is, this shit here is, is you need to block this out, okay? There could most definitely be new um, energy coming ahead for you, Pisces. Most definitely. Most definitely, guys. Most definitely. Pisces, I hope these messages were helpful. And if these messages resonated, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below, okay? If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information will be in the drop box below where you can contact me. I am currently running new client specials, okay? All right, my loves.